Western Ophthalmology program is a five-year uh, residency training program. Uh, with the first year being an off-service rotating year where residents get to spend time on a variety of rotations. From years two to five, the residents get to come on service with us where they get their core ophthalmology training. Uh, one of the really nice things about the IBI Institute is that we actually have all of our specialists and subspecialists under one roof. So the residents don't have to travel too far to get all of their subspecialty training. And the other nice part about that is that the residents get to experience the collaborative nature uh, of ophthalmology, uh, seeing patients go through a variety of different clinics. The way that our residency program is structured is such that there's a graduated level of responsibility starting at an early stage uh, and increasing throughout the, the PGY1 through the PGY5 years. Uh, the PGY1 year tends to be a broad-based year where we draw from other specialties across the university and the hospitals. But then residents jump in with both feet in the second year. They get right in there and start running the, um, the acute care eye clinic um, under tutelage and guidance of their senior residents and faculty, but nonetheless, they're left with a lot of responsibility to see a large number of cases and to work up patients from start to finish on their own. The, the middle years, the PGY three and four years, tend to be focused on rotations that deal with specific subspecialty areas. So we have five uh, different rotations which focus on areas such as glaucoma, retina, pediatrics, and so forth. And then the final year is more of a consolidation year where we give the PGY-5 residents uh, a fair degree of, uh, of flexibility in structuring a learning opportunity that works best for them based on their interests or their career interests or the uh, areas they may pursue fellowship training in. One unique aspect of Western ophthalmology is that we are all located together at the IBI Institute at St. Joseph's Hospital. We're able to collaborate together as numerous subspecialties and also the residents are always on site together to help each other out and be a resource for each other as well. We also start operating in the cataract suite in PGY3 and operate longitudinally over from PGY3 through 5 instead of having a dedicated surgery block. This helps us grow our skills over time and keep up with our skills as we progress through PGY3 through 5. Another really great part of our program here at Western is that we have all the different subspecialties but we don't have any fellows training here. So as residents we really get first pick for everything. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the operating room and either you're going to be first assist or you're the one operating when you're in there. And there's so many opportunities to get your hands wet. Uh, we're really fortunate in that way. There's about eight residents on service at a time so we never are um, struggling to get into the operating room or to find opportunities. We have residents doing a lot of undergrad teaching, didactic, one-on-one uh, -on -one in the eMERGE clinic and these are excellent opportunities. They teach the students uh, clinical skills. Um, the, so we have a group of students who come every week. They spend time with them in the clinic and they, the residents actually teach them uh, all the basic clinical skills, you know, starting from visual acuity, extraocular muscle movement, pupils, using the slit lamp, fundus exam, so all the basic stuff that uh, one would uh, need to know. I moved to London for my residency and I think it's a great city, especially to do your residency in. We're primarily based out of St. Joseph's Hospital, which is an outpatient hospital primarily. It's a lovely work environment. Everyone's in a great mood every day. We also go to Victoria Hospital and University Hospital, and they're really close by. It's about a 10 minute drive to either one from St. Joseph's Hospital, and pretty much wherever you live in London, it's an easy drive. There's lots of great things to do in London as well. We have many different restaurants, parks, trails to go running, uh, biking, walking. We have many beaches nearby, so we have Port Stanley Beach, we have Grand Bend Beach, they're beautiful in the summer. London itself in the summer is a really great place to do stuff outdoors. You're always kept busy outside of work if you want to be. So there's a lot of great things to love about the ophthalmology program here at Western. Um, our residents get a lot of surgical and clinical exposure from early on in their training, uh, which makes them very proficient quite quickly. Uh, there's no fellows in the way for our residents to have to compete with for surgical time or clinical time. Um, there's a lot of great learning experiences and research opportunities. And London really is just a great city to live and work in. Um, I think the most important part though about our program is the people that are here. 
We have a long lineage of great ophthalmologists who have been trained at this center. We have an excellent group of residents and consultants who work together in a very collegial fashion. And honestly, I think that this is where great ophthalmologists are born.